Everyone wants to be acknowledged. Have a good day, you Thank you. Who wants to be ignored? You know, the reality is, is almost everyone I come in contact with, they want to share their story. Danny, Danny. They want to talk. They want to be recognized. They want to know that their existence matters. How you doing? Oh, just getting photos, going around town, getting some photos. How you doing? Danny. Yeah, photographing in rural communities, looking at what stills there, you know, how tough things are. A lot of, a lot of our towns, most people are gone, you know. Oh yeah, small towns can be a thing of the past, you know? Yeah. Small towns, small business, everything's getting took over by corporate stuff, so. Right, right. Only the strong survive. <laughs> strong or stupid, I'm not Strong or stupid? <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you look good right here with that hat. Doesn't he look great? <laughs> I think that's the shot right there. In the fall of 2008, I came up to the region. There had been a, an ongoing drought. Initially, it was just an idea that this would be a place that I would be able to tell the story of that struggle. But I didn't know. I didn't know how I would emotionally connect to the landscape. And the Badlands were the very first thing I saw. I stood and looked out at that landscape. I mean, it was like, it was all there. This project, it's about this region, you know, the rural Midwest and the Great Plains, this massive expanse of the center of the country that for so long has produced so much. And now the value of that has diminished to the point where people can barely survive. A lot of the towns that I've worked in, you know, 20, 30 years, they're gonna be ghost towns. I'm just recording these communities before they disappear. As the shooting for this book comes to a close, I'm traveling to some of the places that I have spent a lot of time in. And for me, it at times can be kind of heavy. That's life, like things come to an end. My friendships aren't gonna end. Hey, 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 what's going on? Morning. Where are you guys headed? What I've really kind of enjoyed about coming back to the ranch is seeing the ups and downs that is rural life. One cc per 25 pounds. Hey, babe, you want to come hold him? I'm photographing as people are doing chores, and camera's always on my shoulder, and I'm always shooting. We still have fun as poor people. Oh, hell. We have a lot of fun. I don't know. I bet we have more fun than most people. So, every day. Where are you going? Where? Are you ready, Danny? Yeah. Got to clean it out a little. Yeah, there ain't no room in it so as it is, in the and then back. it has all this fucking garbage in it. Here, real cowboys going to town. Let's do, uh... I grabbed one coleslaw, too. One coleslaw? Okay. And we have ketchup and mustard and all that? Yep. There's the I don't get there at home. My job is to get people so comfortable that, you know, they just, they just carry on. I think if, if that comes from a genuine place, people, they want to be a part of it. 
And that's why, I think that's why people are so open with me. Careful out there. <laughs> <laughs> These are candid moments. You know, all the good, all the bad, here it is. Thank you. With John and Tabby, it was like that from day one. Those are the kind of people I connect to and like to photograph. You start me a tap? That's like a Thanks, man. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this is my favorite person in interior. Because I'm kind of fucking kick ass. I ain't gonna... What excites me when I'm photographing is the unexpected. Sometimes it's light. Sometimes it's it's you know body language. It's it's interaction of subjects. Sometimes it's 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 me. You know it's my own mood, my own reaction. It's the unexpected. It's going on the road and, and just, you know, having the opportunity to live in a way that I know had I never started in photography, there's no way I would have done any of this. What's for lunch today? Chicken? This is the reservation that is the site of the 1890 massacre at Wounded Knee. Life out here is hard. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Been a long time. Do you remember me? Yeah, I remember. It was everyone, because everyone came from like Rapid and, and all over. And then we were like right out, right out in front of the house, and there's that panoramic. Yeah, you're right. He was deluded the, the yeah. camera. <laughs> Six? Nine. Nine? No. I met Boo and we just we just connected. He's a really thoughtful young man. He's been through a lot. Dropped out of high school, man. Yeah. I got kicked out for smoking some bud and they put me on a contract where I had to see a counselor twice a week. And I actually knocked a pretty big dent in my life there. He just would open up and share so much. And I think it was important for him. I think it helped. When I heard you comment, I was like, is that the same goddamn Danny Fraser I know? <laughs> <laughs> but what happened to the hair, right? Uh, my son comes Where's the ponytail? I got scalped. I got scalped. <laughs> 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 <I> got scalped. <laughs> There's like, you know, this insecurity that's within me. And I think that's where, you know, this desire to become very close to subjects comes from. Without the camera, I don't interact with people. I keep to myself. But then when I have that camera, it's like, I have this license to be someone else. Danny Fraser. So it's always that unexpected conversation or, or just the slight derangement of my vision. <laughs> like something happens that's just, that's beautiful and, and exciting and it, it keeps me pushing. Sorry, John, I just gotta get this shot. You don't get a lot of those real magical moments in photography. There's a lot of steps to get to them, and, and, and you're making work along the way. Something happens. Yeah, it's a decisive moment. But for me, it's, it's just magic. I, I felt it. It was there. I 
tell you how things are. What I want to do is make sure that the feelings that I had at the time and the emotions that I witnessed, the experiences that I had the privilege of, of seeing and being a part of, that I bring that emotionally out in the work. My statement is the photographs. It's all in there. It's all in the images. <laughs>